Hey Titans, this is Miggett. Just going to do a recap of our uh, last war. Titans versus Oz Vingadores! Exclamation mark. Evidently, they really mean it. It's 85 to 81, and it was a it was a really good matchup. If you, if you take a look at our team, and you look at at we had very good participation. We had a few people that didn't attack down low, which kind of happens sometimes when you run out of people to attack down low. But they had excellent participation as well, uh, so it was a really good matchup. We started off, and we we had some really good attacks early on, and then they kind of caught up. But it was a lot of back and forth. So here's our good attacks early on. They kind of caught up, and then I think they even pulled ahead at one point, and then uh, we were able to pull it back. So, uh, anyways, exciting. Take a look at what won the day for us. The three stars, 21 to 15, was what ended up winning it for us. And uh, we, I'm going to feature a couple attacks here. Uh, I want to actually take two attacks that are similar in, in some ways. If you take a look at, um, first of all, I'm going to take a look at, um, where is it? It is, I'm going to take a look at Jesus' attack in just a second. I'd like to take a look at Nori's attack. Uh, I forgot what number it is. There it is on uh, number 18. Now this is kind of interesting because uh, if you look at it, obviously you know where it's headed. It's three stars. But I want to do this because this is a spread base, so it's a little different sort of approach. Just wanted to show you that this is possible to do uh, with hogs. Uh, as long as there aren't too many spots there that you that you can have the double bombs and you spread your hogs out quite a bit. Now one of the things that you notice about uh, Nori, he's a Town Hall 9 attacking Town Hall 8. However, he's a new hook Town Hall 9. And so he's really using right here, he's, he doesn't have his queen in right now because she's actually upgrading. So it's essentially as if he has a Town Hall 8 army with the exception of the fact that he has one additional heal spell to help that process out. Let's just run through this right now and take a look at, at the uh, replay. Okay. First of all, he's going to try and draw that out. Now, this clan had a lot of dragons in there, which are good and bad. They're good because they're easy to draw, bad because uh, depending on what you bring with you, they're kind of hard to deal with. But if you know it's coming or expect it coming uh, and are prepared for it, you can do all right. Nori does a good job with it here. Just going to deal with that, get the wizard spread out, get the archers spread out. Sometimes I even like to throw a barb in there because then he focuses at whatever and just kind of get the barb under the feet of the dragon wings of the dragon, whatever. So he brings in the uh, hogs from that side. He knows there aren't going to be any double uh, giant bombs on that side. He's patient on his heal spell. Doesn't really need it till he gets into the core here. Uses uh, the first heal spell. Now he's got these guys splitting, so he's going to watch this, and he's going to try and predict where they're going to be headed and place a heal spell there. That one probably was, that yeah, turned out to be a pretty good spot because most of them went in there. But they're hopping out of there very quickly, so they don't get the best benefit of the heal spell. But as I said, he has an extra one here, so that's definitely going to help. I think I would have placed it a little bit farther to the uh, southwest, but uh, as it turns out, because there's only one or two guys out there, they all run right through that heal anyways. You notice how he put some archers and wizards around the outside just to do some cleanup. And a lot of times what you want to do is you want to try and put those on the side that uh, are opposite your hogs or in a place that you don't want your hogs to go all the way out to so that your hogs just have a faster time. You don't want to have all your troops on the same side or they're all trying to hit the same thing and just running after each other. You notice how he has these spread out really far apart and the cleanup goes really quickly here. Just hits the Barb King uh, Rage there just to kind of make it go a little faster, make sure he's totally healed and that's pretty much all she wrote. So, good job by Nori attack on number 18. Uh, Killini or Killini or whatever it is, and uh, uh, good job. So let me highlight another one here. Now this one's going to go up a little bit higher. I'm going up and I'm going to highlight Jesus' attack on number 12. This also is a, a hog attack. Uh, however, it's a much different sort of base if you take a look at it. Uh, the CC in there is pretty hard to draw. This is a, a, a pretty kind of mid-level town hall uh, 9. It has a few lower... Wiz Towers, and but it has Expos, it has the whole thing. Uh, he does have his queen with us, with him, so that's definitely going to help. So let's just run through this. He's got his four heals. Uh, when you're doing hog attacks, of course, as we've said many times, he's just doing the CC draw here. Uh, as we said many times, those heals are much more important than a rage. Uh, sometimes people, when they're starting to learn to hog, uh, they use rage, and, and with extreme. Uh, certain situations when you're using uh, hogs and loons or something like that, that might make sense in a centralized core, but for the most part you just want heal spells because those heal spells are what are going to uh, keep those hogs alive. The hogs will work fast enough if you keep them alive. Uh, a rage spell actually just moves them right out of the heal spell. Now look how he puts that down. He knows there's probably going to be something there, so he puts it down before they even run across it, so then they are totally healed 
Uh, what I've seen mistakes before where somebody uh, waits too long to drop that heel, uh, and then when they hit the, the bomb, they've already been hit by a wizard tower a few times, and then they all die because they don't have, they, you can't heal from being dead. So they uh, are continuing on around here. He's doing his best to try and kind of follow the pack here. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job. He has one more heal spell. He's going to drop here in just a minute. Good. He drops it on there where he knows there's a bunch of different uh, defenses that they're going to kind of stick on for a little bit. Then he uh, just kind of lets them run from here. Now, you see that Archer Queen. I want you to take a look at this for a second. That Archer Queen is a beast. Now, she's only level 4, so that definitely helps. But watch how much. I'm going to try and slow this down a little bit because you know he's going to get a 3-star on this because you already saw before. But watch how, how hard she hits these hogs. I think she takes down, I didn't count them, but I think she takes maybe 6 or 7 hogs down here. Now, he has so many of them at this point, it's really not a problem. But watch this. Okay, she's going to take out 1. She's going to take out two. She's coming over here. She takes out a third. She takes out a fourth. She's taking out, I believe, she's going to get out of range here for just a second. She doesn't take out another one, but as they come around here, I'm going to kind of speed it up a little bit to make a point. Now, they're almost dead here, so she can take them out really fast here. So she, And then she gets locked under the king. So that was a good thing to have that locked under the king. And then she gets hit from behind with the wizard anyway. So the point is, is uh, if the king had, if she hadn't locked under that king, she would have taken out a few more because the hogs aren't going to focus on the archer queen. They're going to kind of go at the nearest building. And so uh, one of the things you want to make sure that you deal with is this deal with the archer queen, especially if it's a high level archer queen. Uh, he, Jesus did an excellent job also of doing cleanup. He tends to bring out his uh, heroes late in the game, uh, which definitely helps to keep them alive a lot longer and do cleanup. Uh, if you don't need them early on, that's a good way to do it. So good job by Jesus. Just highlighting a few different hog attacks here. Uh, sometimes you run up against uh, clans that are very anti-hog, and that's that's a problem. But when there are hog attacks there, uh, the hog attacks are still very overpowered, even though they were... Uh, knocked down and nerfed uh, a while back, uh, they're still very overpowered if you can make sure that you keep them away from those giant bombs. So good job, Titans. Keep on uh, clashing. Make sure you like and subscribe and go Titans.